YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Today's video, I have another Goodwill Bins thrift haul. You guys know that the Goodwill Bins is the primary way that I source inventory for my reselling business. So everything here, I sourced over two trips to the bins. So that's probably maybe four or five hours sourcing. I know the last two weeks I didn't stay for very long. So this is everything that I found. It's about 30 30-ish items, uh, but we have one accessory. So let's go ahead and start with these. I was like rushing to get this video filmed because I started listing some of these items and these ones already sold. So I was like, I gotta get this filmed like today. But they are these leather suede shoes and they're made actually by Vivo Barefoot. I'll just show you that Vivo barefoot and it's their soul of africa collection so they're handmade in ethiopia they have the like wide toe box here as well which people really love i've seen a lot of people go crazy about the wide toe box but i saw these sitting at the bins and i grabbed them and i googled them and i'm so glad that i did because they came back i think they're like 130 140 dollars but they had great comps so i listed them and they sold last night for my full asking price of 75 dollars so we've got these those were a great find so, okay so the next item here this is another sort of like the handmade um kind of collection the brand is called boyne Boyne Valley Weavers, handmade in Ireland, and it is 70% wool. I'll just show you the tag. But I have noticed, you know, a lot of things that are handmade or hand weaved, um, more of like a sustainable uh, practice of creating clothing, those things do seem to sell really well for me. But this is just like a large, kind of purpley pink uh, poncho, and then it does have this attached and grab it this attached uh, scarf to it so it's a really cute kind of like cardigan poncho scarf collection I'm assuming this thing probably retailed for at least $150 um, I looked on eBay and a lot of them were selling in the 70 $75 range so I'll probably price mine just a slightly higher than that and see where we go from there. Next up, this is Lovers and Friends. So I have heard of this brand, although I have never found it. It is an expensive brand for what it is. I'll show you. So this is their kind of cream oversized, uh, it's like a boyfriend button down. It's very like slouchy oversized fit. This one retailed for $130 and it's just like a 100% like cotton button down. So I think I saw some of the listings on Poshmark going for like 40, 45. So I will probably list right around there. But I mean, it's a pretty basic piece, but I've never found lovers and friends before. So we will see how well it does. All right. So the next one here is Chico's and this is a another sort of like lightweight kimono cardigan. So um, it is a linen blend, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to get it. Um, it does have some really nice embroidery here on the sides, it's gonna focus, yeah. Some great embroidery. If this was like 100% polyester or um, acrylic, I definitely would have left it behind. But being linen blend, I thought it was really nice. Just a very lightweight cardigan. Honestly, I probably didn't pay more than like 30 or 40 cents for that. So that was great. This next one, another brand that I love to sell is Cabby. And I think this one will do really well. It's, it's almost like, I think I looked at the style and the style said like cheetah, um, but cheetah, leopard, it's all very similar, honestly. There we go, cabby cardigan, size small. This next one, MG, I have sold so many of these. MG makes this like linen blend fabric and they make so many pieces out of the same type of fabric. And anytime I see them, I just grab them because they sell so well for me. So this is another one, it is MG, it's actually MG Plus which is an extra large for them. It is a linen blend, just a blouse, and it has these tiered kind of fringe. They're almost like drop sleeves. They're not quite like cap sleeves. They're just like lower, like half sleeves, but very cute, very like boho style. 
All right, so next up I have a pair of pants by the brand Crazy Shirts. Um, I really love selling this brand, so I'll just show you their elastic waist pants, just classic, like 100% cotton pants. But this brand does sell really well for me, and I think the reason why people love them so much is that they use natural dyes to dye all of their garments. So this specific pair of pants was dyed with coconuts. I don't know if it's like coconut milk or like all the coconut mashed together, I don't really know. But they dye it, they dyed it with coconuts. Um, pair of pants, I think this one, I wanna say this one is new with ta or new without tags because it's got these like strings in here and the strings are like still attached to the tag with like a little tag barb. So I wanna say that they're new without tags, but they look in excellent condition. I don't see any wear on them at all, but these are a size extra, extra large. So I think I could probably get around 40, 45 bucks for these if they are new without tags, but I'll do some research, but coconut dyed pants, there we go. But yeah, I've seen, they sell so much stuff. They sell, I did some research on them a few months ago. They do like pants or like uh, things dyed with plums. I have sold purple things. I've sold blue things from them. Who knows what they used to dye that with. It was like, they're all natural, like nature things. So I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so let's continue. Um, this next thing, this is Halogen. This is a brand that was sold at Anthropology once upon a time. I don't know if they still sell it at Anthropology, but it is this linen blazer. Um, I think it's actually a linen blend. I don't think it's 100% linen. Let me check. Yeah, 57% linen. So still a great find. I think, especially going into spring, anything that is linen and lightweight and breathable like that, people really love. But Linen Blazer by Halogen. This one is a size medium. Next one is Torrid. It is this pink lace. I think it looks kind of like a mini dress, but I think it's actually just like a tunic or just like a longer shirt. Um, but it is pink lace. It does have like a little cami lining inside. It buttons all the way down the front. And this is a Torrid. If you didn't know, Torrid uses vanity sizing. So Torrid size one is gonna be a 1X. So Torrid 1X, this one's really cute as well. Uh, the next thing, this was actually a really fun find. I was so excited to find this and everybody was like skipping over it. And I was like, guys, this is like a good find. But I think people at the bins, they like, they'll like skip over things that they think are too heavy because you do pay by the pound. So honestly, I probably paid maybe five or six dollars for this if you're weighing it. Um, I do like an average cost, so I just like average everything out. Um, but, I thought this was really good. Um, so this is a Pendleton 100% virgin wool red trench coat and it's got long sleeves. It is double breasted, which the double breasted items literally go for like a lot more than just like the single line of buttons. But long line, it's this really pretty deep red color. I think it's, it's a little, definitely a little deeper in color than the camera is showing but really, really excellent find. I wouldn't be surprised if I could get like 75 or 80 bucks for this. I'll probably list it a little bit more, but this is a great find. I was so excited to find that. This next one, this was also kind of fun. I, when I originally saw it, I thought it was Patagonia, but it was not, it is Chubbies. So I particularly know Chubbies as their, like the men's swim shorts brand. That's what I think that they're famous for is like men's um, like swim trunks. But I did not know that they actually sell like all sorts of other clothing. So this is a fleece, very Patagonia style quarter zip fleece, very fun print. I think I did look up comps for this briefly. I do think I can get around 35 for this one, but yeah, please sweater. Next up, another, my favorite brand, Chico's. This is a size Chico's Zero. So Chico's is another brand that uses vanity sizing. So a Chico's Zero is a size small or like a US small, but I thought it was a really nice style. It is this kind of red tunic and it does have these little button accents on the side. They're like, they're kind of like mother of pearl buttons, but they look like a little darker, not quite, but very cute button tunic. Yeah, very soft and like smooth fabric. But yeah, this one was a great find. Um, I think I could definitely get my target of $28 for this one. 
this one, this one I probably won't get $28 for. I picked this one up primarily because it was new with tags and 100% linen, but it is just a loft, very basic kind of sleeveless top, but it is 100% linen and new with tags. So. This next one was one of my absolute favorite finds of the day. So this is a Bowden maxi skirt. It is this beautiful floral tiered design. Okay, sorry, camera battery died, so I had to change it. Okay, um, I am back. So we were, I think I was finishing up the Bowden skirt when it died. So this is a, I think I showed most of it, a tiered floral maxi skirt from Bowden. This guy looks basically brand new. Excellent, excellent condition. Um, these ones retail, I think, for around $150. So I do think that I could probably get about $60 for this. Um, oh, and it has pockets too. Lovely. You know what? This is going great. So Bowden skirt. That one was a great find. Super excited about that one. This one, so I think I've said this before on my channel, I don't sell that many vintage things. Sometimes like I'll sell things like the Pendleton or you know, a vintage item here or there, but I don't really pick up that many vintage items, particularly for style, but I saw this and I had to grab it. So it is this fully uh, beaded and sequined like butterfly blouse. And it's got these really lovely like they're like flutter type cap sleeves as well. Look how pretty this is. It is amazing. So I saw this, I had to grab it. It is a little bit heavy. So if I was, you know, weighing this all out by like how much I paid like by weight, um, I probably paid a couple bucks for it, but I don't really care. Next up, this was fun, uh, Free People. It is new with tags, Free People, although it's the Free People, the blue tag. So the blue tag from Free People is their Intimately Free line. So Intimately Free is like they do a lot of bras, a lot of pajamas. What else do they do? Like the intimate type stuff, right? So I don't know how this qualifies as intimates, but here we are, this very large, it's like a crinkled cotton. It's got these, super puffed sleeves. You can see it's like a half sleeve that has like a really big puff on it. Very kind of crinkled cotton, very oversized. This is a size small, so very, very oversized. Um, new tags, free people, intimately free. Yeah, no idea. Let me see if the retail price is on here. Yeah, MSRP is $88. So I'll probably normally, if there is like an MSRP on the items, I normally price about half that. So I'll probably start at anywhere from like 45 to 50 bucks and go from there. But great find. I mean, new attacks, free people with the bins. That was great. Next up, I have two pieces that are probably not gonna sell for that much, but they were right next to each other. I may end up blotting them up together. So this first one, made well, just this black, um, kind of like a basic blouse. It does have these little um, puffed sleeves as well as like little ruffle accents on here. This guy is a size medium. And then, this one is another made well. This one is kind of like a textured cotton as well. Another very squared neck, more kind of, this one's like a flutter sleeve or I don't know if I would, they're slightly puffed right here, but more ruffle accents on this one. These ones probably won't go for more than 20 or 25 a piece, um, but still great finds from the bins. This one, another anthropology brand. So this one is Odile. I'm, I don't think it's definitely an older tag from them. A lot of the old anthropology tags, they kind of look like that. They have the same, very similar fonts to one another. So I don't think this one is still sold in anthropology, but very cute floral blouse. This is 100% silk. If it was not 100% silk, I probably would have left it behind. But I mean, this thing is so lightweight. I probably didn't pay like, I probably paid like a dime for this. Honestly, it weighs like nothing. So super fun. This one, I have two pieces from my favorite brand, Soft Surroundings. I'm fairly certain that these were both donated by the same person. They were right next to each other. This one is a 1X, this really, really pretty. Another crinkled cotton. This one is a, like a quarter, like a Henley pullover, 
Um, it's got long sleeves, very pretty like yellow, I think. Does it have a date on here? Let me see, I don't think it does. Some of them have dates on them. No, it just says 100% cotton. It's a style number, so I'll, I'll look up the style number, but I think it's a, uh, a newer piece. But very cute, yellow, crinkled. I think I could probably get around 30, 35 for this guy. And then this one, this is another soft surroundings. This one is a size medium, although it's a very large medium. And it is, the sun is going down outside, so the lighting is getting like harsher on my face. But um, it is, it's kind of like a beigey green tunic top. It is a chenille knit, which is really nice. Feels very, very soft. It's a pretty basic piece, but it also has some pockets, some little patch pockets at the bottom. So I think it's very cute, especially being a tunic top. I love selling tunic tops. This next one, this was a great find. So this is a J. Crew tweed um, jacket. It does have the little like metallic Lurex um, strings like we've done, but J. Crew. This one, I looked this up. There were a couple of these listed on Poshmark and eBay for like $100. So will I get $100 for this? I don't think so. But could I probably get 50 or 60? Probably, I think so. So this is a size four J. Crew tweed blazer jacket. Next one, I almost left this one behind, but I did a little bit of like comp researching before I bought it and I decided to go ahead and get it. It is the Gap. Um, shaker, I think it's called the Shaker Boyfriend Cardigan. Um, it's a fall of 2022 line, so it's got a few buttons on the front, and it also has these, wait, where are they? Yeah. So it's got a knit with a couple like open, kind of like pointel knit um, accents here. Um, I think this was a great find. Honestly, comps for this one were a little bit all over the place. Some of them were selling at like $25 to $30, and a couple of them were selling at like $60, like recent solds as well. So I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe some like influencer probably like talked about this cardigan because there seemed to be just kind of like all over the place. Um, but this was a great find. I was really excited to find this one, and it's really excellent condition as well. This next one, this was really fun. So this is a brand, I've actually found this brand, I think in my last haul, I found another um, address. So the brand, let me tell you the brand first. The brand is called Show Me Your Moo Moo. Um, I found another dress from them a couple, like a week and a half ago or so, maybe maybe two weeks ago, something like that. Um, and that dress, act, that dress actually sold this morning on Curtsy for $50. So I want to get this one listed as soon as possible, but it's another Show Me Your Moo Moo dress. And this one is, let me undo this. Come on now. So this one is a gold satin dress, and I believe it's a midi dress. It does have a little like ruffle accent on the bottom, and it has a slit at the front. Um, it's smocked at the back and it does have, I took them off, I was steaming it. It does have like little um, ties that go on the shoulder and like a waist sash. Um, but this one, really cute. I do think I could get around 40 bucks for this one for sure. But show me your moo moo. This one is a size extra large, so great size for sure. So that was exciting. Okay, we've got another Bowden item. This one's a little bit more plain, but a Bowden size six floral blouse. It does have like a split neck here, long sleeves. It's got like smocked cuffs. Just a great kind of like basic from Bowden. This one, the sun is gone like completely down now. So the lighting is like really harsh on my face. <laughs> All right, um, this one, so I, what was the brand called? I forgot, so <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Okay, Alabama Channon, that's what it's called. So I found this dress at the bins. Um, it doesn't look like much. It's like a very strange corner, kind of like greeny brown color. Um, it's long, it's, However, this is what it looks like, right? So I saw it and immediately I could tell that it was like a high quality. Um, I was like, this feels really nice, but there was no tags anywhere. So there was a tag on the side, if I can find it. 
and I will show you what it looks like. So this was the tag that I saw on the side. And then on the other side, it said 100% organic, oh my gosh, 100% organic cotton made by, and then it had like initials and a size, and I'll show you. There we go, just like that. Uh, just like that, right? And so I saw that and I was like, this is obviously high quality. If it's handmade, if it's, you know, 100% organic cotton. So, but I tried to look up this little tag, could not find anything. I eventually brought it home. Sorry, I'm like rambling now in this haul. Um, I eventually brought it home and I posted the tag on like one of like the Facebook reseller groups that I'm in. And somebody identified the brand as Alabama Channon. And so, I looked it up, the pieces from this brand sell for like anywhere from like $100 all the way up to like $2,500. So I don't think this one was a super expensive piece. I think that this one was more around the $150 to $200 range. Um, regardless, it looks great, right? <laughs> so um, no idea what I'm gonna price this one for. I really couldn't find that many solds on the marketplaces, but um, that just shows you like if you, you know, feel something and you like, you feel like it's high quality definitely like trust your gut and do a little bit more research on it because this one hopefully will sell for i mean at least like 7500 bucks hopefully all right next up what's next oh so this one it is another mall brand this is banana republic this is an extra extra large i believe a men's um, linen blend sweater so I sold another sweater from Banana Republic pretty recently it was like a linen blend and it actually sold really quickly so when I saw this one I decided to go ahead and grab it but just a basic blue knit this one pair of good American jeans the good American jeans definitely don't go for what they used to go for but this is a I googled it once I think it's like a tapered leg or like a slim straight or something, but Good American, size eight. Good American jeans. Just like basic Good American. Another brand, I don't find this brand all too often, it's House of Harlow. You kind of have to be careful with House of Harlow because they do like liquidate a lot of their stuff to TJ Maxx and like Ross and like those type of stores. Uh, but this one was kind of like a bandage style um, like crossover top, but it's green. It's a size medium. Um, yeah, I thought it was okay. House of Harlow. What else we got? This is a brand, I love selling this brand. They do not make this brand anymore, so when I see it, I always pick it up. Um, obviously, if it's in good condition. Uh, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. This one, super cute. Very sort of like cottage core, baby doll type peasant. Very cute, like um, beigey cream, embroidered, floral. It's coming up very yellow on the camera. It's really not that yellow. I really filmed this at the wrong time. The sun is completely down. All the lights are very yellow in here, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, next up, Spanx. I love selling Spanx. This is some of their, I think it's called their liquid leggings or liquid latex leggings. It's almost like a faux leather feeling um, legging. These ones are really great. I think that they don't sell for as well as they used to, but they do sell. Um, I think I could get probably 30 bucks for this one. And this is a size small, tall. Sphinx leggings, and we're almost there. We are almost done. Um, this is the next one. This was more of a style pickup. The brand is Caslon. This is a 3X, so great, great size linen blend, kind of just like a basic wide leg pant. This one is great for the spring and the summer. Very sort of like beachy boho style for sure almost there. I'm speeding up a little bit. I've been talking a lot in this video. So uh, J Gel size extra large. I think this is a linen blend as well. Yeah, 59% linen, 22% cotton, 19% modal, 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 modal. Light blue, very lightweight knit cardigan sweater. Very sort of like basic bread and butter piece. Very happy with that one. 
another. This was a great find. I was super excited when I found this one. So this is J. Jill. This is part of their Love Linen collection. So this collection is super, super popular. A lot of people really search it out. Um, size small, 100% linen floral dress. It does have a little keyhole at the back that I could together. Um, it does have a little mother of pearl button at the back here, but super cute, sort of green um, dress. It does have pockets. It's kind of just like a like a shift dress or like a just like a little mini sundress. Very cute. Love it. And the very last one. <laughs> I've been talking for so long in this video. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is Lauren Ralph Lauren. I love Lauren Ralph Lauren, definitely one of my favorite brands as well. This is 100% lamb's wool, turtleneck, gray sweater. So I looked this thing over so well at the bins because lamb's wool and wool, and they all are very prone to holes. So I was looking this over and I was like, it looks great. And then I got it home and I found, it's pretty small, it's not a very substantial hole, but there is, I don't even think you can even see it. Where is it? I don't even see it anymore. Oh, it's right there. There is a small hole, right? Right there, right on the front. So I missed that one, but it will still sell. You know, I do sell things that are flawed. I mean, I had a pair of Yori pants that I listed, I think two days ago, that one of the knees was like almost worn completely through and it sold the same day for like $25. So I was like, lovely. I'm not afraid to sell um, flawed things. I would just prefer not to but that's okay, I have it now. It's a turtleneck, it's 100% lamb's wool, and it has this really cute sort of knit um, on it, like people sledding, so sweet. But Lauren Ralph Lauren. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. I've been talking for so long, the sun is like, completely gone now um but thank you so much for watching this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one bye